Hello everybody, welcome to the beautiful Austrian Tyrol around the Olympic city of Innsbruck. High in the mountains, it's Eagles, the venue for round three of the Bobsleigh World Cup. Two of the world's greatest sliders on the left, Andre Langer and his compatriot Sandra Kyriasis. Both of them lead their respective World Cup groups. Martin Haven, Leamington Spa, England. John Morgan, Lake Placid, New York, USA. John Morgan, what about our race favorites? Helen Opperton of Canada, bronze medal in Calgary, fourth in World Cup points. She's had a good week of practice. Susie Erdman, not on the podium in Lake Placid or Calgary, eighth the World Cup points, time for her to move. Shauna Roebuck, she has two medals so far, second World Cup points. And her teammate, Jean Prom, gold medal last time out. She tied for the gold medal in Lake Placid. She's third in World Cup points. But the girl they're all chasing, Sandra Karasas of Germany. It's pretty tough to catch this girl when she's on her game, and she has been so far. Undefeated so far this year, John Kyrgios is still the benchmark. Perfect score, 100 points for each of the two races. But as you say, the USA, Canada, the North American sleds racked up right behind her, ahead of former Olympic luge champion Geta Weissensteiner, Italy's big hope for these Olympic Games in Torino. Like in women's skeleton, women's bobsled has made some tremendous athletic steps in the sport since its inaugural competition in Salt Lake City in 2002. So we've seen our favorites. Let's take a look at this venue. They held the Olympic Games here in 76, John. It's a short track, though. Start record owned by Shauna Roebuck and Valerie Fleming of the United States. Downtime, of course, is Prokoff. And this was in 2001. Be interesting to see if we get near that record tonight but the temperatures are cold enough and now let's take a look at the track and we have a very interesting pictures for you look at this the guy has to step in now look he gets in the driver and he's got these little steering handles heat on the ice is our theme song and there's heat on the ice because underneath those runners is a bow type of uh, uh, rock they call that's what comes in contact with the ice and friction produces heat Heat on the ice. Look at the way the steering goes. A little left, little pull. It's not the guy who steers the most that wins in this sport, or the girl. It's the person who steers the least. And up here in Innsbruck, at a very slow speed, you cannot afford to make any kind of a mistake. The least amount of steering, the better. Now we're going to go to this big Kreisel curve. It's a big 300. Look at the left. Look at the left hand pulling on the rope. A lot of pressure. Almost three Gs of force. You come out, exit. Let the sled start to run. Hopefully, it runs straight. Curve eight. This sets you up for curve nine, biggest part of the track where all the challenge is. Straight away, you hope you're coming straight through there. Now, three-quarter combination of the labyrinths. This is where the sleds start to really fly. Close to 72 miles an hour. Now into the finish, an uphill section. You could still lose some time. Look at the left hand pulling in the finish curve. Four Gs of force. It's a short track. It's very easy to get down. It's very tough to get down fast. From the outside, they look so smooth and sophisticated. Anybody who's ever raced a soapbox derby will recognize that steering. Athletes getting ready for their second deciding run here at Eagles will be back with the action from the top of the track in just a moment. Stay with us here on Speed. I'm Stanley Johnson. I've got a great family. I've got a four-bedroom house and a great community. Like my car? It's new. I even belong to the local golf club. How do I do it? I'm in debt up to my eyeballs. Before rates go up, refinance and consolidate your debt with LendingTree. You'll save thousands a year. I can barely pay my finance charges. Somebody help me. Help has arrived with the Lenny Tree Flex Loan. Get up to $175,000 for about $729 a month. Go to LennyTree.com or call our 24-7 loan center. We'll present you with up to four customized offers from the Lenny Tree network of certified lenders so you can lower your monthly payments fast. Compare offers, pick one, and close in your home if you like. When banks compete, you win. Visit LennyTree.com or call 1-800-555-TREE and we'll do the paperwork for you. Hi everybody, I'm Jeff Bodine and I take great pride in my Bodine bobsled project that supplies made in USA bobsleds to our USA Olympic bobsled team. I'm going to have a bobsled race in Lake Placid and get a few of my NASCAR buddies involved as a fundraiser for the Bodine bobsled project. 
They'll be driving specially designed bobsleds like this one. So come to Lake Placid and see NASCAR drivers driving bobsleds. We'll see you there. I gotta get some practice. Let's go. This is it. The Chevy Red Tag event ends January 3rd. Get to your Chevy dealer now for low red tag prices on most Chevy vehicles. Like the 2006 Chevy Cobalt LS with an EPA estimated 34 highway miles per gallon. Now, get an 06 Cobalt LS Coupe for the red tag price of $12,437 after all applicable offers. Hurry, the Chevy Red Tag event ends January 3rd. See your local Chevy dealer. Welcome back to Eagles. Today's program brought to you by Chevrolet, official sponsor of the U.S. Olympic team and the Jeff Bodine Bobsled Challenge. John Morgan, what happened in the first heat here at Eagles? Well, Canadians, Gavin Hadley and Krushek, fifth place. They made a statement. They were the top Canadian team in the Lake Placid event. And here's the gold medals from Lake Placid. Jean Prompt, Vanetta Flowers. Not a great drive down the track. And she has to be perfect because she gives up a little time at the start. But she's lurking around that podium like she always does. Shauna Roebuck and Valerie Fleming, they're in third place. Shauna not getting the start she used to have in the past. A little bit of a groin injury, but she's still around the podium. Helen Upperton and her brakeman Moyes, these girls have been on their game all week long in practice. They were doing it, and they came out here today, and they have got themselves in silver medal position. They're chasing Sandra Carasas, beat Wyacker. These girls have done it all in the first two events. In fact, Wayacker is the new brakeman for Kiaros tonight. She used size, size an hour at the last uh, two races, so some well, things never change. No, absolutely. Behind Sandra, she's got this huge field of athletic talent. She can rip off the great starts, and Sandra just drives. She really is the benchmark in this women's sport. But behind her, some very close battles. Couple of hundreds of a second covering three or four sleds all the way down our top 20 group. 20 from the original starters go through into the second heat and the aggregate of their two runs counts. You don't get to discard the worst one. That has to count as well. Weather, as we talked about, perfect. You see the ice temperature and the control steel. The steel is a runner they leave at the top of the track and your runner has to be within two or degrees either side. Here's our jury, the people like in NASCAR that will run the event. They check the sleds. Hey, some sled might go down there tomorrow, uh, today and win the race, and they might pull up behind a garage and tear it apart, just like in NASCAR, to make sure it conforms to standardized rules. Nicola Minicello, Sheffield, Great Britain. And this is my great woman, Jackie Davis. Silver medalists in the World Championships in Calgary back in February, struggling to regain that form and driver Nicky Minicello is struggling with a real bad head cold here, John. Not only does it not help her train, but also all the driving comes from between the ears and when you are bunged up, it's really hard to get the lines you need. She's been sick all week long and you could just see it for her to be back at 17th place. You know this is really bothering her. There's the Australian sled at the bottom. We did not see them. They're the leaders the leaders in the clubhouse, or as we refer to them in bobsledding, the leaders in the box. But Jackie has got a wonderful, or Nicola has got a wonderful time here. Six tenths up at that point. And let's watch her here. Kreisel needs to be clean. She could move up five, six places easy. This girl here should be in the top five with the, the start times that her, and ja her brakeman Jackie Davis get this should be in the top five easy, but she's been struggling with the new sled too, right? Well, that's right. New equipment always takes a time to get used to. And uh, of course, it's the Olympic season. Everybody wants the best they've got, and they've really bitten the bullet. New sled, and they're going to have to get used to it in the World Cup season and keep their top 10 position. They move into the lead. Coach Pete Gunn looks pretty happy with that. And uh, day by day, Nikki says she's feeling better, less like a, a walking zombie at the moment. So uh, she'll be happy with that second run. She wasn't too impressed with the first. They take the lead. And as you say, John, the, the sleds are so tightly pushed together. Uh, here's the replay in the Kreisel. And you see she's struggling a little bit. The sled wavered a little bit. But, uh, you know, she good exit, not bad there. That's that slingshot effect on the bottom. She'll have another day. Coming up, the first of three Canadian sleds. Lisa May Stringer and Andrea Engelman. 
on speed. Ten years of classics. Beautifully done. Ten years of dream cars. The best of the best. Ten years of Barrett Jackson on speed. That is history. The world's greatest collector car event returns. Bigger than ever. One of the most extraordinary auctions I've ever experienced. Six amazing days and over 30 hours of expanded coverage live. Plus, indulge your passion. Log on to SpeedTV.com and make your Haggerty fantasy big. Stop that hammer! Barrett Jackson, January 17th through the 22nd on Speed. Brought to you by Porsche. There is only one show that can generate this type of excitement. We are going to see you in Hollywood. Only one show that brings families together and gives us all a reason to cheer. You blew it out tonight. That was incredible. And only one show where your votes can take an unknown to the heights of stardom. They love you. The one event you've been waiting for <laughs> is back. This is going to be the best idol you have ever seen. American Idol premieres this month on Fox. Would you like to lower your mortgage payments up to 35%? I could reduce my monthly payments? Tell me how. Introducing Smart Choice, the home loan exclusively from Quicken Loans. Whether you're buying a new home or refinancing, Smart Choice is the answer. Here's an example. A traditional 30-year loan for $200,000 at 7% interest would be $1,330 a month. But with Smart Choice, that same loan would be an amazingly low $850 a month. That's a difference of over $5,700 a year. That's good news. So what are we waiting for? Call toll-free now and see how you can lower your monthly payments up to 35%. The Smart Choice Loan. It's great for refinancing or for purchasing that new home. You get monthly payment flexibility, so you can decide to pay just interest or make payments to principal whenever you want. Call this toll-free number now or go to quickenloans.com to get started and lower your mortgage payments up to 35%. But don't wait. Take advantage today while rates are still low. Winsbrook FIBC Women's Bobsleigh Tour Race 3. Next weekend, they go to the awesome Cortina high in the Italian Dolomite Mountains, a rumbustious track of if ever there was one. Sliding for a long time in Cortina, as you could tell from those pictures. Now, our next competitors are from Canada. Lisa Engelman. Canada's got three slides, two of them in the top five, and only one of them's going to the Olympics. There's our leaders, the very unhappy British. You can tell with those expressions. They don't want to be back in 17th place like they started. And Lisa May Stringer, uh, her brother Ruben Mays played football for the Seattle Superson or Seattle Seahawks. Good bloodlines and was really Canada one last year, but now she a couple uh, younger Canadians have come up and really challenged her, and only two Canadians will go to the Olympic Games. So she really needs to pull down a really good heat here. To you know, she's plus 11. That is not a good sign on the top part of this track. As you know, Martin, you can't gain time on the way down. You can only prevent yourself from losing time. Well, John, her real problem is the numbers at the top. 571, 574, her two starts. She needs to be down in the low 60s to stand a chance of competing. Well, she got it down to minus one. She is a good pilot. She had some great results. It's down to a dead heat. It's right to the hundredth of a second. Perfect here on the bottom, and she'll be the leader. Right to the hundredth. There it is, two hundredths. And the British, their day is done. Coach Malcolm Lloyd from Canada looks on and passes judgment on the run. And Lisa May Stringer goes to the leader's box. How long she's going to stay there? I don't know how good a run that was. Tough call. Next up, the Russians. Victoria Takovaya, Sochi, Krasnoyarsk, Russia. Это моя разгоняющая Надя Орлова. Надежда Орлова. She's referring that this is my break woman. Break men, we've been struggling with that term. They've, they've said break woman. I can't really accept break woman, but a lot of the females tell us break, break men's okay. Sounds a lot better than break person, though, yeah, John. I mean, yeah. that, that's the worst of all three. But we gave them the choice when they came in for their headshots, and it's funny, some of them call this is my rocket. We've heard that a couple times. Here's my engine. Yeah. 
And this is what Tokovaya needs. She's another slight athlete, 5'7'8", right behind the eight ball, trying to drive her way back into competition a because mother, she doesn't start fast. A mother, 16 months ago, still out on the tour. Her grandmother is watching the child back in Moscow. Loves to drive, had a great result in Lake Placid, top 10 finish, driving one of these new singer sleds that the Russians have emerged in the sport of two-man and four-man bobsledding. The women have not come as fast. We didn't see the Russia two sled. That female's come out in her first two World Cups of the season in uh, North America pretty good. And we'll be seeing more of her. Tokovaya had a lot better results a couple years ago, and I think because the sport re is really accelerating since Salt Lake. Plus 16, not a good sign in the bottom 200 meters. It's a good sign for Lisa May Stringer in the box. And she's the leader. One more time, the Canadians will move up at least one more. Canada three, Lisa Mayer Stringer has the lead as the Russians fail to uh, capitalize on their first heat advantage. And again, on such an important starters track, she's really struggling without that gun. Coming up next, the first of three American sleds on Speed Channel. Jill Bach and Bethany Hart fighting for their Olympic competition lives. Hey, Greg White here. On the next Two Wheel Tuesday, we check out the happenings in the world of Supercross. Plus, Chad Reed, one of Supercross' biggest stars, is here to answer your questions. So tune in to Two Wheel Tuesday, 8 Eastern, only on Speed. He was married six times and spent his money on parties and women. He was a rock star. He was Henry VIII. The ruthless king who beheaded two wives, looted churches, and executed friends, enemies, and the innocent. Witness the real story of a merciless tyrant whose worst enemy was himself. The Madness of Henry VIII. Premieres Sunday on the National Geographic Channel. Dare to explore. Hi, everybody. I'm Jeff Bodine, and I take great pride in my Bodine Bobsled project that supplies made in the USA bobsleds to our USA Olympic bobsled team. I'm gonna have a bobsled race in Lake Placid and get a few of my NASCAR buddies involved as a fundraiser for the Bodine Bobsled Project. They'll be driving specially designed bobsleds like this one. So come to Lake Placid and see NASCAR drivers driving bobsleds. We'll see you there, I gotta get some practice, let's go. This is it, the Chevy Red Tag event ends January 3rd. Get to your Chevy dealer now for low red tag prices on most Chevy vehicles. Like the 2006 Chevy Cobalt LS with an EPA estimated 34 highway miles per gallon. Now, get an 06 Cobalt LS Coupe for the red tag price of $12,437 after all applicable offers. Hurry, the Chevy Red Tag event ends January 3rd. See your local Chevy dealer. Top of the track, Eagles Austria with Germany 3. That's my break woman, Shanine Tischer, says European champion Kathleen Martini. Double European champion the last two seasons, but she's struggling down in 13th in this ultra competitive women's bobsleigh field here in Austria. Only two German teams will go to the Olympics. This girl did not go to the Salt Lake Saves. This is probably her last try from Altenburg. She won an Altenburg World Cup uh, last year and the year before that, won the Segula competitions. But she's struggling. There's our leaders at the bottom. She's got a lot of pressure on her, a lot of pressure on her to beat one of the other German sleds. And I'm gonna tell you something, in Germany, which is a very traditional sliding sport nation, she has not been happy with the results coming out of North America. And that is a terrible mistake. Plus two to plus eight, and I'm sure it's gonna be plus double digits the next time. Watch the clock here. That was a bad skid on the exit part of the track where you really have to accelerate plus 14. I don't think she's gonna be able to prove. This is not a good run for Kathleen Martini's Olympic hopes. There it is, Canada moves up one more. And that might tell you how bad of a first run Lisa May Stringer had. Well, I think so, that's absolutely right. This track is so difficult to be consistent on because it is wide open, but not that fast. Martina Foisi. 
So this is my starter. Again, different nomenclature among the nations. Maya Bamert, one of the new breed of young Swiss sliders. She's Swiss too. Again, not the fastest starters. 571 in the first heat puts them around a tenth down from a, a really world-class start. With these Hans Hiltebrand built sleds, they are really great aerodynamically. They pick up speed in a way that almost nobody else, apart from the US Bodine sleds, can emulate. Let's take a look at the numbers from the top. 571, the first start. She gets away 568. So she's saving a few hundreds there, John. Just trying to get that extra ounce of competition out of it. Who got, gets in the sled there first? That's Joey's check on that in sync replay. And Maya, I'll tell you something, she looks to me like she lost about 10, 15, 20 pounds. I don't know, she, she looked a lot bigger to me last year. And she had a great result up in Calgary. Not so good in Lake Placid. Driving these new Hiltebrand design sleds and they are so sensitive compared to what they've been driving in the past. It's gonna take them a while to get used to it, but don't count the Swiss out. The Swiss bobsledding, Swiss women's bobsledding made a big jump last year in these two young pilots. And we're gonna see both of them. And there's the leader, three tenths. That's a good run. And the coach looks on, he loves it. Great run, 1500s quicker than Lisa Mayer Stringer from Canada, our uh, round two leader up until then. Nice sliding. As you say, it's almost like going from a truck to a race car, the sensitivity increase in these new sleds. So like everybody else, trying to get to grips with the kit. Here is exit of nine. Here is our crash cam. Look at that, she come off here. Perfect. That was a good run, and that's the speed. She has the best speed on the exit of Kreisel, and the coach knows his athlete has just put one down. Tall girl, she's almost 5'10", I would say. One of the tallest girls in the competition. Jill Bakken, Seattle, Washington, USA. This is my break. Bethany Hart. And the defending Olympic gold medalist from the 2002 Winter Olympic Games has got one of her most important heats since those Olympic Games. She's fighting for her Olympic life, driving her Bodine sled. She needs a good heat. Ready to go, USA 3. Big hit, says the coach. Clock on the right counts down to 30 seconds before they must start while the light is still green. If they get to zero, they're DQ'd if they haven't started the timing beam. Another little innovation from our production crew. And we've seen people disqualified because something happens, the push bar won't go down, something technically they notice wrong on the slide. We've seen people DQ'd for not making the light. Jill Bakken, the Olympic gold medalist from 2002. She's under a lot of pressure. You know, she's USA 3, and it's according to World Cup points. And if she doesn't improve quickly, she's not going to make the chance to defend her Olympic gold medal. The brakeman, Bethany Hart's also hoping for her to improve. Bethany's hometown is uh, North Grafton, Massachusetts, went to the University of Connecticut. She was an alternate on the 2000 team also, so she's got her hopes in Jill Bakken's hands. Jill, great pilot, minus four. Bottom part of the track, if she's perfect, she will be the leader but it could be close. Minus eight, good run for the Bodine sled. Jill Bakken though, her Olympic hopes, not really in her control. She's gonna have to hope for one of the other two sleds to have some mishaps for her to move up that leaderboard. She's fifth at World Cup points. <laughs> fifth at World Cup points and probably won't go to the Olympics. It's a tough sport, John, no question about it. And, and being a good athlete in a really great nation like the USA, it's just up against the gun all the time. Current standings then, with the USA on top. Ten sleds still to come. Well, it's been exciting so far. All these girls are racing a race within a race. They have their own Olympic aspirations, and they have this event aspirations. More on speed after this. My first car, MGB, 
Looking in your eyes, I see a paradise. This world that I found is too good to be true. Standing here beside you, want so much to give you this love in my heart that I'm feeling for you. That I'm saying we're crazy. Welcome back to Eagles Austria in the Tyrol Mountains. Martin Haven, John Morgan here watching the second deciding run of the third women's bobsleigh race of the season. It's part of the four day, five discipline FIBT World Cup tour weekend. And in set picture, Andre Langer, our two man bobsleigh World Cup points leader. He's in action next on the track. But before we get to the men, let's continue with the women and our number one Italian draw. Fiora Weisenstein, Steineck, Italia, and this is my friend Jennifer Isacco. Olympic gold medalist in Luge at the 1992 Winter Olympic Games in Alberville, the tracks in La Plan. She's been doing great in women's bobsledding. In fact, she won the first World Cup event after the 2002 games in, six months later in Calgary. She won it. She got a bronze medal the next night, and everybody thought, wow, she's on her way. Hasn't had too many podiums since. And needless to say, of course, you have Sandra Curiosis. There's our leaders, Jill Bakken at the bottom, and her teammate, Bethany Hart. And great pilot, start time is her deficiency. She always has great speeds in the bottom part of the track. Knows the ice well from Luge, but you gotta have that start, especially on a short track like Innsbruck or Eagles. She had three one hundredths of a second in hand Ooh. over the US sled from the first heat. That's all gone and more, John. Big sliding, tapping the wall takes the speed out of the sled yeah. as well. Now, this is gonna be no chance in the bottom. Once you lose that time up top, you can't get it back. There's no gas pedal here where you can put the pedal to the medal and 2700s down Antonio Tartaglia the coach former Olympic gold medalist at the 1998 Winter Olympic Games for Natalia he can only look on frustration and she drops two places and she knows she did it with her eyes and her hands and this was one of the first one of the bottom part of the track mistakes this is the labyrinth where it's 70 plus miles an hour really quick. Look at that skid in the last labyrinth. She went from plus 16. Look at the speed, almost a kilometer and a half down to Bakken. And when you have speed like that, you have frustration from the coaches like that. Well, she knows she's up against it. She knows how to win Olympic gold, but she just doesn't have all the medals in her armory at the moment. Next up, number one, Dutch sled. Eels Brothers, Groningen, the Netherlands. And this is from Remster. Jeanette Pennings. Well, Brothers and Jeanette Pennings. You see the coach in the uh, orange and blue jacket at the top, the great Harold Tudai, one of Germany's greatest ever sliders. He's really bringing out the girls' ability in driving, but still, John, two years ago, the Dutch number one and two pairs were setting start track times that nobody else can match, and they've dropped way back behind the pace now. I don't think they dropped way back as much as everybody caught up and went by it. But the Dutch, you know, this is a speed skating nation. This is not alpine skiing or jumping or biathlon. The Dutch women have made a big name for themselves in Holland. They're always in the top 10. Both of them are great drivers. Right now, her teammate, 
We saw, uh, didn't see her. Elaine Yerg is struggling. And this girl here has emerged as Holland number one. And we've seen her all along. Ilsa Broders can drive a slant. And when you've got a coach like Harold Chodai that's providing the runner technology and the instincts on how to drive, they usually do well. But here, the fifth best time of the heat, Harold Chodai on the left looks on. He can only wonder what happened. But it's not about one time down the mountain. It's twice. And it's twice where you have to be consistent. Our next driver from Switzerland, the girl they call the firecracker. Great results, won medals in St. Moritz last year. Just outside the medals at the World Championships. Changed to a brand new Hiltebrand sled. Decent start time, she's small, diminutive. Got a brakeman who's got some power. Switzerland, they really put their hopes on this girl and she didn't have a very good North American tour. Not 1800s lead. And decent speed on the exit of curve two. We show you that speed because you can have a great start time, but if you run too far, get in the sled late, shake it around, by the time you get to curve two, you have problems, like she just had there in the exit of Kreisel. But that speed at the top of the track is really crucial. And there, you can just tell, she's not comfortable in the sled. It's a very sensitive steering design, and she's not figured it out yet. She's late there, but she's fast. But she's still living on her first round advantage. This run is slower than the USA oh. team. And she drops behind all the way down. Wow. She was losing, losing, losing. Mistakes before on the exit of Kreisel, before on the exit of Curve 9. And then she was late down in the Labyrinths. You can't gain time on the way down. And look, how's the body language there? Yeah. Here it is, the first mistake. Watch the exit, looking for the runner tip. She's on the wrong side. Now she tries to steer away. The back end of the sled's coming away from her. Bang. Wrong place to make a mistake. And look at the speed. You can see it there. More women's bobsled on speed after this. Foul, foul, foul. You've seen the auctions. Now, see it from the inside. People really have no idea. Let's head to the block. Barrett Jackson, life on the block. Monday night, 9 Eastern, on Speed. Last season, Jack Bauer staged his own death to stay alive. He's dead. No. Now, what could possibly bring America's most dangerous counter-terrorist agent out of hiding? Get you have no idea the where the next 24 will take you. I'm not finished with you. You're gonna wish you felt this good again. 24, the two-night premiere event begins next week on Fox. I love using this now. Sending pictures is so much easier. Now, this really rocks. What a difference Verizon Online DSL makes. Now, for as low as $14.95 a month, you'll get all that speed, so you can really enjoy your computer, camera, and tons of other stuff. I click, and I'm online right away. DSL is so fast. I can open and send photos with none of the hassles I had with Dylo. I'm talking, she's surfing, and shopping. And sh shopping. I can get with a program and get music like the rest of the world. It costs a lot less than most of those cable companies. I'm paying $14.95 a month for my Verizon DSL. That's less than what my slow dial-up costs. Call 1-888-527-5275 to get Verizon Online DSL for as low as $14.95 a month. It's our lowest price ever. That's 1-888-527-5275 for the best value in broadband. I can't believe I had dial-up for so long on this baby. Bye bye, dial up. Welcome back to Innsbruck, Austria for World Cup bobsledding on speed. Sorry, I'm Schramm. Oberhof, Deutschland. This is my Bremserin, Stefanie Schurek. Tells you everything you need to know about the German program. Four German sleds here. The USA have three. There are our leaders. US3, Jill Backen, Beth Hart, her break. And they've been in the leader's box for three or four sleds now. Can they claim another scalp and move up from a lowly 11th in the first heat? Claudia Schramm, John, off start draw 26. Came down seventh quickest, which shows you how well the track is holding up. Speed should be good. Well, the temperature dropped, too. It got a little colder. The ice got a little firmer. The heat on the ice was less, less friction. Look at the start time. Now, this is a big girl who's lost some pounds and improved her starts. Look at the technique. The German's head's going back and forth. Look at Bethany Hart on the back. Look at her technique. She's locked in. 
very good brakeman entry into the sled. Late load from a driver, though. I think she rubbed down the wall in corner one, which is a danger here. The track narrows so quickly on you. If you take an extra couple of slides, uh, strides, and she did, you can rub the wall. Any NASCAR fan knows exactly how much speed you scrub off as you rub down a concrete wall. Ice isn't that much different. Minus 13 to minus 11. That was a pretty good exit here. The only chance the USA have at the bottom is this is single digits. If it's not, oh, it is single digits. The speed wasn't as good as Bakken. This is going to be to the hundredth of a second. Uphill, exit of the curve to the finish line, three hundredths. That's close. Joe Bakken just, ugh. Uh, and she goes, that first heat killed me. Yeah. That's what she talks about. She had a great second heat, and that time will be up there in the top five or six. But Joe Bakken and Bethany Hart are gone. Here's our new leaders, and they will be excited. They have beaten Kathleen Martini. They're at least Germany number three. And this is where you set it up. You exit curve eight. Too much steering there, but she recovered. Look at the runners. Not a bad exit to the speed part of the course. That is why she won by at least three hundredths of a second. Well, she's had two pretty good slides here. And again, threatening maybe one of the athletes ahead of her, Kathleen Martini in Germany three. A lot for the German coaches to ponder this weekend and up to the Christmas break. Here's Wolfgang Hoppe. Susi Edmann, München, Germany. Und das ist meine Bremserin, Nicole Herschmann. Wolfgang Hoppe, the double Olympic gold medalist from the Sarajevo Winter Olympic Games in 1984, double silver in Calgary in 88. He won two more medals at the 92, and then one more, one more at the 92 and the 94 games, and one of the most prolific Olympic drivers in the history of the sport. He's the coach of the German women's program. And the women's program has got a few medals, but they are not competitive in the two, three, and four sled like they used to be. Well, that's very true. You've got Germany one, Sandra Kyriasis, way ahead of this bunch of three or four athletes right behind. Claudia Schramm in the leader's box. Susie Erdmann used to be able to take gold medals away from Kyriasis two seasons ago even. She was second, third, first all the time, even with a sled built by the great Bavarian Christoph Langen. Her, uh, close neighbor in Munich. She just can't find the pace, and John, so much of it still is her start. Start time, and the other nations have caught up with better athletes and the equipment. They've matched it, but look at the drive from minus 11 to minus 17. This is what this girl can do, and on a long track, if it was 15, 1600 meters, she'd probably challenge for the medals. 1800, she's now at least Germany too. Wolfgang Hoppe says, I'll take that, and Susie Erdmann will go to the leader's box. And you know what? Her break woman, Nicole Hirschman, was behind Sandra Prokoff, Sandra Kyriasis, as she now is in 2001, when they set the all-time track record. So certainly, she's got great engine power behind her. And uh, Susie Erdman, as you say, different tracks, different natures, suit different athletes. This is not one of her best. Another Olympic luge medalist from the 92 and 94 games. Now, here's another big story. Canada, too. Great first slide from them. Suzanne Gavin Halati, Bell River, Canada. This is my break one. Jamie Cookshank. <laughs> 562 start in the first run. That tells you why they're in the position they're in. That was the third best start. She's got a Dresden design sled. She had a great result in Lake Placid. She's been coming on the Canadian program this week and put a lot, raised a lot of eyebrows. They had some unbelievable training times here. They showed that their North America performances were not a fluke. Who gets in first? Susie Erdman's in first, which Brakeman? German's in first, clean and down. Now, her nemesis is she's inexperienced, and uh, every time she comes down the track, she becomes more experienced. 1400s lead, little skid there, a little drift. Watch the exit here into the straightaway. Can she be straight? Gavin Hadley is straight, but she lost some time up top. It's five minus 14 to minus three, and that's not perfect. So she is at the mercy of what the sled can do on the bottom. It's plus 11. This is good for Erdman, and not good for Gavin Hadley. Erdman will be the leader. I think she made a mistake up above the Kreisel. You can't gain time on the way down. You can only prevent yourself from losing time. You make the mistakes up top where the speeds are slow and it just catches you all the way down the track. But she is a top five. 
This is an Olympic result. This must mean she's just qualified for the Olympic Games. John, it looks like she's just won the Olympic gold medal. She is so thrilled with that run. Coming up next, the top two US sliders, Jean Fromm and Shana Roebuck. I'm Jeff Bodine, and I take great pride in my Bodine bobsled project that supplies Made in USA bobsleds to our USA Olympic bobsled team. I'm going to have a bobsled race in Lake Placid and get a few of my NASCAR buddies involved as a fundraiser for the Bodine bobsled project. They'll be driving specially designed bobsleds like this one. So come to Lake Placid and see NASCAR drivers driving bobsleds. We'll see you there. i got to get some practice. Let's go. Welcome back to Innsbruck. Our next competitor is Jean Prom and Vanetta Flowers. Jean Prom, Waterford, Michigan, USA. And this is my brakeman, Vanetta Flowers. What an event in Lake Placid last time out. They tied to the hundredth of a second for a gold medal with the Germans. Four to go. Our current leader, Susie Erdman on the left, Nicole Hirschman, her brake woman on the right from Germany to first to challenge. Fourth in heat one, Jean Prom and Vanetta Flowers. Now they really have up their starting game, John. They got away 5-7-2 in the first heat. Jean's in early. She's tiny, 5 foot 2 and a fraction. 5-75, that's wow. not bad. Great starts. Vanetta Flowers, the mother of twins after the Olympic Games. She won the gold medal with Jill Bakken at the 2002 Games. Vanetta is fit. Her and Jean are both came out and really improved their start times. Against Susie Erdman, who they've just beat by six, seven hundreds at the start. They used to be tied with her. Now they've reduced that by five, six, seven hundred to heat, and that's really helped her. And one of the reasons why she tied for that gold medal in Lake Placid was because not a bad start and a great drive. And she is a great driver in her Bodine sled. She really is. Look this is that. a starter's track. Whoa. But that's a perfect it. line right there. Nails that exit too. Tiny Whoa. little tail slide, but she was still keeping up Minus the speed. 14, big speed out of the bottom. This should be the leader. Jean Racine and Vanetta Flowers accelerated on the bottom, and they put themselves in a position to challenge for a podium finish. But no doubt, Jean Racine, Jean Prom can drive a sled. Her nemesis is the start time, but boy, she can. They are really much more fit and much better at the start than they were last year. It's very obvious. Perfect time to be peaking, isn't it? Into the Olympic season. I don't think she's ever looked fitter. 55.09, our fastest downtime so far in this second heat. Lays down the gauntlet for those that follow, including U.S. number one sled. Next up. Shauna Robach, Orm, Utah, USA. This is my brakeman. Valerie Fleming. Talk to Shauna about the first run. Shauna, this is a tough track. Your first run, how are you going to do in your second? Um, I got kind of hung up on, in the start. Um, my spike got caught on the seat, so hopefully end up getting in a little bit quicker. And, um, you know, I felt like I had a pretty good run just out of six. Kind of had a bit of a tap, more than a tap. But uh, <laughs> hopefully clean that up, and I think it will be a little bit better. 
these two have paired up to set the track record at the start on every track they've been on. But this year, I think Shauna must have a groin injury, something. There's a little rumor in there that she's not as fit as she was last year and still gets the top three, top four starts. But her driving has definitely improved. Big hit off the front handle for Shauna Roebuck. Val Fleming powering it away from behind. Long run from Shauna. Gets settled in, hands on the steering rings just before the first turn. 5.63, their track record from December last year, 364 days old, 5.55, John. Eight hundreds difference. Eight hundreds difference on this track at the start is an eternity of time in the sport of bobsledding. But Shana Roebuck last year couldn't maintain that speed down below and win medals. This year she is, which proves out that she's becoming a better pilot down the track. The Bodine sled here, clean on the exit of Kreisel. Now the next one, watch the runner tips here on the exit of nine. That is what Shana Robach is doing. She's improving her skills as a driver. That was perfect. She's got a 2,500 lead. That's gonna be impossible for her to not to be the leader here in the bottom. Great run from Shana Robach. Jean, Jean Prom and Vanetta Flowers can only look on. That is a great run. That had nothing to add a lot to do with the start, but in the past, she could not drive consistently. That was excellent. John, she tied her start time to the 100th. She was 100th different between the two runs. That is the consistency that wins medals in bobsled. Yep. She is maturing as a pilot. Look at her. She knows this is what she couldn't do in the past. If she gets a little healthier, watch out the rest of the field. Because she was clearly so far in front of everybody. Look at the coaches. Saplin Floyd, Bill Tavares. Happy as USA are one and two with two sleds to come. Canada's Helen Upperton and leader from the first round, Sandra Kiriasis of Germany. Tonight on Speed's Lost Drive-In, Laurence Olivier, Robert Duvall, and Tommy Lee Jones turn the car industry on its head. I'm gonna build me a car the world will never forget. The Betsy, tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, only on Speed. Every night, there's just one place to be. The best damn sports show, period. Come on in and be our guest for Sports Television's Nightly Party. The world's greatest late night sports show is just getting started. The best damn sports show, period. Weeknights on FSN. America's favorite home gym is more affordable than ever. Now you can get the all-new Bowflex Extreme for just $19 a month. Call the number on your screen for a free DVD or video and check it out. Bowflex's power rod technology delivers results. Powerful arms, defined legs, a stronger chest, and a toned, sexy core. And owning a Bowflex home gym is so affordable. Great results are easy with a new Extreme. All it takes is one simple workout, 20 minutes a day, three times a week, to get in the best shape of your life. The Extreme is built so well that we back it with an unrivaled seven-year warranty. And so effective, it comes with Bowflex's 100% satisfaction guarantee. Own the Extreme with no money down and payments of just $19 a month. And when you call right now, we'll give you the leg attachment upgrade free. Call for a free DVD or order your Bowflex Extreme for only $19 a month. And for a limited time, get the leg attachment free. Ten years of classics. Beautifully done. Ten years of dream cars. The best of the best. Ten years of Barrett Jackson on speed. That is history. The world's greatest collector car event returns. Bigger than ever. One of the most extraordinary auctions I've ever experienced. Six amazing days and over 30 hours of expanded coverage live. Plus, indulge your passion. Log on to SpeedTV.com and make your Haggerty fantasy good. Stop that hammer! Barrett Jackson, January 17th through the 22nd on speed.
jail for a gun crime, and your family serves a sentence with you. This is it. The Chevy Red Tag event ends January 3rd. Get to your Chevy dealer now for low red tag prices on most Chevy vehicles. Like the 2006 Chevy Cobalt LS with an EPA estimated 34 highway miles per gallon. Now, get an 06 Cobalt LS Coupe with a red tag price of $12,437 after all applicable offers. Hurry, the Chevy Red Tag event ends January 3rd. See your local Chevy dealer. Ten years of classics. Beautifully done. Ten years of dream cars. The best of the best. Ten years of Barrett Jackson on speed. That is history. The world's greatest collector car event returns. Bigger than ever. One of the most extraordinary auctions I've ever experienced. Six amazing days and over 30 hours of expanded coverage live. Plus, indulge your passion. Log on to speedtv.com and make your Haggerty fantasy big. Stop that hammer! Barrett Jackson, January 17th through the 22nd on speed. Ten years of classics. Beautifully done. Ten years of dream cars. The best of the best. Ten years of Barrett Jackson on speed. That is history. The world's greatest collector car event returns. Bigger than ever. One of the most extraordinary auctions I've ever experienced. Six amazing days and over 30 hours of expanded coverage live. Plus, indulge your passion. Log on to speedtv.com and make your Haggerty fantasy big. Stop that hammer! Barrett Jackson, January 17th through the 22nd on speed. Mike Mountain. What a challenge for the girls. Rough, tough, and dangerous to know. Let's find out what they thought about this weekend. Heading downstairs to Dave Kurtz. Third place finishers, USA 1, Shauna Robach and her brakeman, Valerie Fleming. Shauna, um, how did you handle the second heat here? It was your best, I understand. Uh, yeah, it was, I think, a hundred faster than my first or something. Um, <laughs> no, I just, you know, I want to stay consistent throughout the year, and, and that's just pretty good for consistency. Same start, you know, 100 downtime. So I'm, I'm excited, happy for it. Well, you have been consistent. Congratulations. And for the highest finish ever in her career, <laughs> Helen Upperton, Canada One, we congratulate you how do you feel here at the winter stand i feel really good um it was pretty exciting to do it in calgary but it means a lot to come to europe and have another good result and it's really exciting and i couldn't have done it without heather she pushed awesome so it was awesome thanks very much congratulations <laughs> and and sandra once again number one on the podium how do you continue to dominate <sighs> yeah natürlich freuen wir uns erstmal dass wir wieder gewonnen haben es ist nicht einfach wir müssen immer wieder von neuen uh, uns auch motivieren und uh, ich war heute nicht ganz fehlerfrei in den Läufen. Man hat sicherlich auch gesehen, aber wir sind natürlich froh, dass es trotzdem gereicht hat. We'll get a translation. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, There we go. And race. yeah, she said that she's done very well and uh, she enjoys and she has a very good brakeman and she looks forward to the next races and looks forward to the Olympics. Thank you. Thank you. Our Golden Girls then, Sandra Kyrgios is buried Verka winning for Germany. Now it's up to Andre Langer to keep that tradition alive in the two-man and four-man competition. Heat on ice tonight was some excellent results from some upcoming pilots. I was really, really impressed with the Canadians. For the FIBT TV crew here in Eagles, Austria, from John Morgan, I'm Martin Haven saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. of classics beautifully done 10 years of dream cars the best of the best 10 years of barrett jackson on speed that is history the world's greatest collector car event returns bigger than ever one of the most extraordinary auctions i've ever experienced six amazing days and over 30 hours of expanded coverage live plus indulge your passion log on to speedtv.com and make your Haggerty fantasy big stop that hammer barrett jackson january 17th through the 22nd on speed 
Wisconsin night on Speed's Lost Drive-In. Lawrence Olivier, Robert Duvall, and Tommy Lee Jones turn the car industry on its head. I'm gonna build me a car the world will never forget. The Betsy, tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, only on Speed. You've seen the auctions. Now, see it from the inside. People really have no idea. Let's head to the block. Barrett Jackson, Life on the Block, Monday night, 9 Eastern, on Speed. Hey, Greg White here. On the next Two Wheel Tuesday, we check out the happenings in the world of Supercross. Plus, Chad Reed, one of Supercross' biggest stars, is here to answer your questions. So tune in to Two Wheel Tuesday, 8 Eastern, only on Speed. Welcome back to Eagles Austria, the legendary German slider Wolfgang Hoppe salutes yet another gold from Germany's bobsledding Golden Girls, Sandra Kyriasis, her third straight win of this World Cup season. World Cup standings, a lot to do with who goes to the big dance in Torino. Shana Robach in second, Jean Prom in third, Helen Opperton in fourth, Jill Bakken in fifth. Used to be Germany, one, two, three. You got four North American sliders in there now. Only two of those Americans will go to the Olympic Games. That's the sad part of that. Today's telecast brought to you by Chevrolet, official sponsor of the U.S. Olympic team and the Jeff Bodine Bobsled Challenge. Coming up next week, Bobsled goes to Cortina High in the Italian Dolomite Mountains. What a challenge for the girls. Rough, tough, and dangerous to know. Let's find out what they thought about this weekend. Heading downstairs to Dave Kurtz. Third place finishers, USA 1, Shauna Robach and her brakeman, Valerie Fleming. Shauna, um, how did you handle the second heat here? It was your best, I understand. Uh, yeah, it was, I think, 100 faster than my first or something. Um, <laughs> no, I just, you know, I want to stay consistent throughout the year, and I mean, that's just pretty good for consistency. Same start, you know, 100 downtime. So I'm, I'm excited, happy for it. Well, you have been consistent. Congratulations. And for the highest finish ever in her career. <laughs> Helen Upperton, Canada won. We congratulate you. How do you feel here at the winner's stand? I feel really good. Um, it was pretty exciting to do it in Calgary, but it means a lot to come to Europe and have another good result. And it's really exciting, and I couldn't have done it without Heather. She pushed awesome, so. It was awesome. Thanks very much. Congratulations. <laughs> and, and Sandra, once again, number one on the podium. How do you continue to dominate? Ja, natürlich freuen wir uns erstmal, dass wir wieder gewonnen haben. Es ist nicht einfach. Wir müssen immer wieder von neuen äh, uns auch motivieren. Und äh, ich war heute nicht ganz fehlerfrei in den Läufen. Man hat sicherlich auch gesehen, aber wir sind natürlich froh, dass es trotzdem gereicht hat. We'll get a translation. Uh, okay. Uh, There we go. And race. yeah, she said that she's done very well and uh, she enjoys and she has a very good brakeman and she looks forward to the next races and looks forward to the Olympics. Thank you. Bye. Our Golden Girls then, Sandra Kyrgios is buried Verka winning for Germany. Now it's up to Andre Langer to keep that tradition alive in the two-man and four-man competition. Heat on ice tonight was some excellent results from some upcoming pilots. I was really, really impressed with the Canadians. For the FIBT TV crew here in Eagles, Austria, from John Morgan, I'm Martin Haven saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.